Hi everyone, it's Carrie Ann from Stampin' on the Bright Side. I hope you are having an awesome day. I know I am. I'm really excited to work with you today on this project. Um, I did this as a live a few weeks back. I'm not really sure. I was just kind of exploring the technique of um, daubing using the daubers. Hang on. Um, I pulled out like a dozen different colors of ink and then just chose which ones I wanted to use. And I used um, I used the new Seabed 3D. I think it's Seabed 3D. Um, and so one side like pushes into your paper and the other side um, releases or like so there's texture. Let me show you on this one. So here. <clears throat> Well, let me just show you this first. Okay, so this kind of is in printed and then it comes out on the back side. This I use this kind of as a scrap to also dub off my. So it's um, it's uh, it's raised on this side and it's indented on this side. Okay, and so for this one, I daubed ink on the side that is like the any side, and so most of the ink went on to like the flat surface. So it went onto the flat surface of the paper, and then when I closed this up, the part of the paper that was pushed in went into these grooves here and remained white. I wonder if you can see that. Okay, and so now this time I worked with um, this side where what I sponged ended up being the pushed out textured part so that color was pushed into the paper and then the flat part of the paper was left white so basically the same folder two it's this i mean it's the same image almost the same image but it's two totally different effects really cool so we're going to see what it looks like with this paper okay um i have all the pieces cut i believe so um, i only have one thing that i need to run through the big my big shot and um, well, let's just take it one step at a time, okay? Ooh, what is all this? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> whatever it was, it was covered in cat hair, of course, uh, as usual. Okay, so I need my bone folder. So this is a piece of paper cut four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I'm going to dig around in here, there it is, for my bone folder. And go ahead and just, okay. All right, now this is Pacific Point, and it is cut so that it is a quarter inch smaller, so there'll be an eighth of an inch frame around it. So it is cut at four, uh, four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm going to run it through the 3D Subtle um, embossing folder. See this little black line right here? So you can line up your paper on that black line, and you will that will help you keep your image straight. All right, now the trick is, if I remember, I have the magnetic plate on there, so let me move that. I think I need, I don't know. <clears throat> My plates don't work the same as a lot of other demonstrators. I have the original plates, and I did not buy, I'm kind of a waste not want not kind of person, so I didn't buy the new plate when it came out. I don't know that my blue plate actually works with this one. It works with some and not others, and I don't, I really should mark it, mark them whether I need regular. Okay, the blue plate does work, but it's going through super easy. So I was always afraid that it wasn't going to imprint, but it does. And so basically it's like when you um, go to a craft store and you buy textured paper, this makes all of your smooth paper into the textured paper. So whatever colors you want, there you go, you have it. You don't have to go buy any special paper to have textured paper and smooth paper. All of it can be textured paper. But you can't take textured paper and run it through and make it smooth. So it's better just to go ahead and buy all smooth paper and make what you want textured. Unless you're dealing with like sheets that are bigger than what the big shop can um, do for you. All right, so let me put that away so I don't worry about using it. And where did I put the other embossing folder? I don't know. Maybe I stuck it in here. I did. Okay. All right. I've been trying, trying, trying so hard to be organized. Okay. So we're using the Whale Done Photopolymer stamp set. I love this stamp set. So cute. And I'm just using a few images, not a lot. Um, I used a lot of colors. I'm not even sure exactly what colors I used. I know I used Calypso Coral, Just Jade, Pretty Peacock, Blackberry Bliss. Um, I'm pretty sure this is um, the Pacific 
point. Um, I think that is it's Bumblebee. Um, and I feel like maybe Granny Apple Green as well as Just Jade and Pretty Peacock, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. I might have even used Bermuda Bay. I'm not 100. I just had a whole bunch of colors and just like whatever I felt like doing, I did. Um, but it's in the, it's one of my lives. So just go to my Facebook page, um, uh, fb.me slash stamp it on the bright side and just scroll down till you find it. And then you can just fast forward to the, the part where I stop jabbering and start actually coloring. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my Pacific Point piece down. I don't know what that is? I've got something on it. I'm glad I noticed that before I went to glue anything. Okay. This is such an easy card to put together. Um, I mean, it takes some steps because you're, you know, you're cutting, you're embossing, you're coloring. So this is, I mean, it's a, a good. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time but it's easy. It's one of those that has lots of steps. So if you're just feeling like you want to play with your stuff, just pull it out and play with your stuff and um, have, a, have a good time with it. But it is going to take a little bit of time. I think I might just go ahead and use my um, Stampin' Seal. Get it started. It's kind of stuck right there. Okay. Nope. Didn't get it far enough up. All right. Still kind of getting used. Don't push down. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm overthinking this. I'm one of those people that overthinks things. Honestly, I do. Okay, see, that wasn't that hard, that last part. Because in my brain, I was like, oh, why do I want to do that? I don't want to do that yet. Hang on. Where is... Okay, so I told you the dimensions of that piece. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, get off of me. This is cut at four inches by two and a half inches and I'm going to adhere it right here and I think that I can go ahead and use Stampin' I don't know, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna use the liquid glue. That way if I get it off center a little bit I can mush it around. That's what I really like. For small things it's not that big a deal. But um, when you're trying to go edge to edge with a bigger piece it really is just a lot easier to use the liquid glue. It's more forgiving. I don't stress out at all about getting it on center. Now this piece I'm not that worried about. It's a small piece. It's no big deal. I'm just slightly overlapping it over the Whisper White colored piece. All right, so my card is almost completely assembled, just like that. Now I did pre-cut um, using the largest stitched oval, this one, okay. And um, my original card, I used the large oval, but I wanted to see what it would look like with the scallop. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that's the largest scallop. Yes, it's the largest scallop. All right, so, um, and then I decided to just keep the oval. I liked it better, but I'm not gonna waste this piece. And I do, I mean, when I say I like this better, it's relative, I like this too. So I just, like this one just slightly pulled ahead. Not that big of a deal. All right, so we're going to, let me set that aside. We're gonna um, stamp on this first. Let me put my lid back on my stamping seal. Everybody is anxious about that. Apparently that, you have to keep your cap on it. I don't know why, nobody knows why yet. All right, um, I need scrap paper to stamp on. Actually, I need my mat. I don't really know where my mat is anymore. Yes, I do. It's right where I thought it was. <laughs> I lied. I knew where it was at the whole time. What is that? Glue. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So super easy. Oh, I got to do the whale too. <laughs> He's the star of the show and I wasn't even prepared for him. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, so I thought I was ready. Hang on. I'm pulling a sheet for him. I think that'll fit. Yes, he'll fit on that. Okay, so, all right, let's go ahead and do, so what I did, we'll do this big piece of seaweed, and what I did is I, I did this technique where you use two different ink colors, stamp it in the lighter. So the lighter is just jade. I don't know if you can see any of this. Oops, I just got it all over me. Great. Hopefully I won't smear the project. Okay, and then you just kind of roll it a little 
So there's, you can still see the Just Jade. And I'm just going to put this right here. And actually I feel like I used a little piece of seaweed too, I did. You can, it's a little bit lighter there. Okay. Um, so let me get that little bit, little bitty piece of seaweed out also. Put him on this one. And I did the same thing. So I'm going to do just shade and I'm just going to lightly go around. I probably overdid it a little bit. Okay. And then just right here. All right. And I've, there might be a little bit more white space than I want. So I might okay. do this. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I like that much better. So then I did, I did this piece of coral in Calypso Coral, of course. I feel like if you're going to have coral in your project and you have a color called Calypso Coral, why not use it? it just makes sense, right? It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. And just go like that. Okay. All right, and then I did some bubbles and I did not bring over my balmy blue. Or can I use pool party? I don't even know now. We're going to just go with pool party. Boy, I was all kinds of unprepared for this project, and I thought I had everything together. Goodness gracious. Okay. I'm going to clean those off and put them away so I can have this block. I'll just stick them to this. I'll have to clean up afterwards. Okay. So I need bubbles. Where's my bubbles? Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, and we're just going to do a few bubbles. Yeah, I did do pool party now that I'm looking at it. Let me make sure that I like how that goes. Okay, so just going to do some bubbles all throughout. I'm not stressing about it at all. I mean, why stress? Okay, that looks good. I like it. Okay, we are saving, um, we're saving the seahorse for the inside, but I'm going to take Pacific Point and I'm going to stamp thanks a ton. And I have it on this little skinny block. Do I want to move it? Let's try it. I'll just do it here first. Yeah, that'll work. Just get it inked up good. Okay. We're going to put that right here. Perfect. Everything's going so well, strangely. Okay, and I'm going to take Blackberry Bliss and I'm just going to sponge around the edge just a little. Do I want that one? No, I don't. But I don't know. Okay, I reorganized so so many things are moved. Here's the one that has Blackberry Bliss on it, I think. Okay, and that's just to help it. Oh, that's a little darker than I thought. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, it was supposed to just kind of help it blend in with the scallop piece. And now it almost looks... Well, let's get it a little bit more, like, smudgy. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I know some of you probably would look at that and say I would never use Blackberry Bliss on that. But I think it works. I like it. I don't know why I picked it. Because it, Oh, I know why. Because it was one of the coral colors. And it was the color I wanted for the seahorse for some reason. And it stands out very well. So I just went with it. So let's go ahead and adhere this. Um, and then we're going to pop and then we're going to do the whale. The whale is super easy. So I'm not even worried about the fact that I am not ready with him. <laughs> okay, find another sheet of dimensionals. Maybe. Yes. Okay. And then we'll stamp the whale. And, and punch him out. So this is whale done is a bundle. So you can bundle it with a um, stamp, or not a stamp, a punch that punches the whale out. Is it, It's the whale builder punch. So you can stamp and then punch, or you can actually build a whale. You get all these little, hang on, you get all these little pieces. So like this goes here, and then here is his 
thin and the fin is curved just exactly the, the same way to fit right there. And then you have a, a dot for his eye. Just make sure you locate his eye correctly or he'll look really weird. It needs to be like right close to the fin. If I can get it off my finger, not that close. Oh my goodness. Get over there. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So anyway, and then you can use the bubbles to make like little um, speckles on him. And then he has this water spout. That's adorable. You can use it and do contrasting colors if you want to. I just cut, just cut it out in a bunch of different colors. So, um, And then these are just some of the pieces I had left over. I can't throw anything away, but I need to. This is too much stuff, and it's taking too much time. Come on now. Oh my goodness, seriously? What are you doing? Sorry, guys. All right. Well, that was interesting. Okay, whale punch. Here he is. Okay, so I punched him. Oh, I punched him in Moonlight Mist. Or Misty Moonlight, sorry. Misty Moonlight. Um, that was the only color that I really could make work with the whale. So it's a good thing they came out with it. I don't know. For some reason, you can punch him out of any, I mean, like any of the blues. And you can coordinate several of them. They're fine. But stamping him did not work for me with any color other than this Misty Moonlight. But that was just me. Okay, hopefully this will work. Just gonna hold it for a second. Okay. Yep, and he's got his little blowhole there. It's cute. All right. So this is a distinctive stamp set. So basically the way it's cut, it's probably a laser cut, it's cut at um, different um, densities, I guess, of spaces between, um, like for the ink to get in. So the ink is thicker here and then it thins out so that you have basically an image that has so much dimension. Really, just, I love it. It's just, it's just really awesome. I love it so much. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Go ahead and punch him out. And just line him up. Um, I will slightly squeeze, not enough to cut the paper, but just enough to hold it while I kind of arrange and get a good look at how much white space is on certain parts of my image. So I don't get too much like on the left or the right or the top or the bottom. Okay, we don't need the rest of that, just him. And we're just going to put a couple of dimensionals on him. Pop him up and then we're almost done. We're just gonna put some of this fun sequins and I can't remember what the sequins is called. Um, I think it's on, let me find it first. I brought it over here. Oh, here it is. It is called Whale of a Time Sequence. It is the best sequence. I love it. Such pretty colors. And it comes with this little seashell. Such a cute little thing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, this is like a mess. I need to just get all this stuff out of the way. Grr. All right. Okay, so let me find my take your pick tool. All right, um, we're gonna need, I'm gonna get a, a slightly fuller um, glue um, so I can glue some spots down. I'm just gonna pull out some colors. I don't know how agreeable my, this guy's gonna be, okay. I know I want this one. Um, I want one of the lighter. I know I want a seashell, at least one. I don't think I want that little guy. I know I want a gold. I'm just going to do a bunch of them. Um, let's get a couple of golds. How many did I do? I did like a, gray, a couple of the little gray pieces or grayish. I think they're actually soft sea foam maybe. I did a couple of the blue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Maybe I did another one of those light ones. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm being picky. I mean, you can do as many of them as you want to, whatever colors you want to. Not that big of a deal. I don't know why I'm trying to make it look exactly 
like my other card. Every card does not have to be exactly, so I'm just going to make sure my glue is not going to come out in one big blob. Okay, so we're just going to do one here, one here, one there, one there, there, there. I think I did get like smaller ones too, at least one smaller one, but I didn't on the first card I did, but I'm not going to this time. I'm not stressing out about it. Okay, so I have the gold. I have one of these blues. I have one of these lighter colors. I can't believe this is going so smoothly. That never happens. When's the other shoe going to fall? Usually I'm covered in sequins and gl like gluing them to myself. Can't get them off of me. <laughs> This is crazy. That worked out so well. Yay! Okay, so this guy that I made ahead of time is a little more jaunty, I can see. And when I say jaunty, like he's got a little bit of attitude. He's kind of turned, tilted up a little. This one's a little more serious. He's kind of like really looking at you. <laughs> but they both, they both turned out really super cute. And so the biggest difference was that the biggest thing was the technique um, with the embossing. Um, folder. I probably should have showed it to you, but like I said, there is another video um, that shows that. And I also did it actually. Um, there is a video on YouTube. Let me find my project. I had it right over here. Um, oh my goodness. Why isn't it not right here? I just pulled it out to show. Here it is. <laughs> so there actually is a video on my YouTube channel where I did this. This was extra paper. Or another this actually this was another sheet from the day I did this one and it wasn't big enough to do this project with this um, die set so I did this this one to go with this project and had this one left over so I decided to do another card and do another video with it so this it will show all the all the steps that I use to make this paper okay all right so I hope you enjoyed it I really had fun with you making this project and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time thanks for coming by bye